back to the channel and we are in the van again but we pulled over this time i always start the videos when we're driving and you can barely hear me so i pulled over this time hopefully that's better but we are on the road again in the van and we had some unfortunate news about the van that's going to delay our cross-country trip and honestly i was so frustrated that we just packed up the van and we headed north um just a little bit we're in the port huron area i really want to jump in the lake and the northern lights are supposed to be out tonight so we just decided to pack up and go. We don't really have a plan. We have no idea where we're gonna sleep. There's no public land out here. So, uh, wish us luck. we made it to Port Huron. It's a little bit windy out there so you probably can't hear me if I talk out there. We got the Blue Water Bridge in the background which is actually the border to Canada so right across there is Canada, Sarnia more specifically. We got the St. Clair River right here that's just rushing today. The, the current's crazy. There's a bunch of people out on the water. It is 4th of July weekend, so we're expecting the beaches and the water to be pretty busy. It's like 80 degrees today. It's a lot cooler down by the lake, but I'm definitely, as you can see, I'm probably sweating. The van is pretty warm on days like this, so we are gonna make our way north to try and uh, find somewhere we can jump in the lake and potentially find some shipwrecks. All right, you guys, we made it down to the lake. We got Lake Huron behind us, and we just felt it. It's pretty cold, but we're gonna jump in. Sometimes I forget how lucky I am to have grown up so close to the Great Lakes. We are literally surrounded by lakes that resemble the ocean with Caribbean blue water, only it's all 100% fresh water. Doesn't get much better than that. That felt amazing. I feel so much better. I feel like now it's 60 degrees instead of 90 degrees. But uh, but yeah, this beach, as you can see behind us, is pretty packed. So I think we're gonna keep heading north and try to find those uh, shipwrecks. We made a couple stops at some of the pull-offs along M25 that go right along Lake Huron, and we found a bunch of cool little spots to swim. is right behind us there and we are in search of a shipwreck actually a shallow water shipwreck that uh wrecked right here and apparently you can see it with the drone really close to land so we're gonna throw it up and see what we can see So I have no idea how well that turned out. Um, there's a huge shadow on it right now. It's like almost sunset. We kind of got here later than I thought. Um, and of course, the battery on the drone died as soon as we got there. So we are going to have to come back, but I did get some footage. Hopefully you guys were able to see it. That's so cool. And there's actually been a change of plan. That's kind of what delayed us a little bit. We're meeting up with our friend Chase. Um, we are going to head to Point Ox Barges. I'm not pronouncing that properly, but we're heading there for sunset to meet up with our friend Chase and the northern lights are supposed to be out tonight. So yeah, fingers crossed that the forecast stays good and we're gonna head a little bit more north for sunset.
All right, you guys, we made it to Point Ock Barks. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Chase told me how to pronounce it. We got Chase in the house. Um, he just showed up and we just had the most insane sunset that I have seen in person in probably all year, to be honest. I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I have no idea what turned out. The drone footage I know looked crazy from my, like my phone, but I have no idea what photos I got because like I said, we were running around like chickens with our heads cut off. But uh, this is where we're gonna chill for a little bit and hopefully the northern lights are supposed to be out. They He got some crazy northern lights last night. You were here when you got them? Yeah. Nice. Yep. Yep. So they're supposed to be out again tonight. It's a little bit cloudy, but not too bad. So we are gonna, fingers crossed, hope that the uh, northern lights show up. We stayed out until almost 3 a.m. and the northern lights never came out, but we did manage to take a few star shots. And then we ended up sleeping at a Walmart for the night. All right, you guys, good morning from Walmart. And as you can see, the van is a bit of a mess right now. And honestly, I just don't even care. It's been a rough like couple of hours, not gonna lie. We stayed up so late last night chasing the northern lights and shooting astrophotography with Chase. Unfortunately, we didn't see the northern lights and we stayed out till like 2 30, 3 o'clock and then we came back to this Walmart. I can't see because we have our curtain up, but we're at Walmart in Bad Axe right now and we were sleeping and got woken up to our vent fan beeping like crazy and turned off and it's super hot. Right now it's the middle of summer and as you can see we have windows all in the van so uh this being off is a big deal i'm like sweating right now so yeah not the most ideal thing especially after we just found out that the van needs a ton of work so feeling a little bit frustrated right now however we are just gonna say screw it and we're just gonna attempt to just go fishing and try to enjoy what's left of this day um definitely not going to be able to sleep in here tonight though if the fan's not working so we're gonna have to figure that out but i'm gonna try to forget that that happened and just try to enjoy this day a little bit so uh yeah all right so this is obviously me from the future editing this we did go fishing and just kind of hung around the lake for the rest of the day so we did enjoy the rest of the day but i just really wasn't in the mood to film to be honest with you the last couple weeks has been pretty frustrating we honestly i thought we'd be on the road by now like out west but the van needed some repairs that ended up being a little more serious than we thought the fan broke and just a bunch of personal reasons as well that's just been holding us back now i'm not saying all of this to just sound like i'm complaining i just want to be real with you guys because i feel like these videos and just social media in general honestly paints like a perfect picture like my life is perfect and that is definitely not the case these videos are like a highlight reel and it just doesn't show the reality most times i've mentioned this a few times on this channel and i know i'm not alone in this but my mental health has been all over the place lately i feel like the time that we had allotted for this road trip is quickly slipping away from us and all these issues are just delaying us even more but i do have to say minus the stupid fan issue this trip was incredible i had such an amazing time the sunset last night was insane it's been such a long time since i've had that like running around with a chicken with your head cut off not just inspired to basically shoot everything it's been way too long and i seriously feel like the universe knew we needed that we don't spend nearly as much time on the east coast of michigan along lake huron as we should especially being how close we are to it but to be honest it's mostly private land and like farmland and there's not much free public land to be able to camp on but there are so many cool little pull-offs and spots to swim and stuff right along m25 and honestly sleeping at walmart's in those situations when there's no free camping is clutch so yeah, and a quick update about the fan actually, I called Max Air and they're gonna be sending us a brand new fan. Basically what happened is, this is the 3500 model. It's the most expensive one. Um, it's the one that has 10 speeds. And apparently it is a known issue for this model. We read tons of reviews of other people that had the exact same issue. So I called Max Air and at first they told me they were gonna send me another motherboard, but then they told me it was gonna take eight weeks for that to come in. So I told them there's no way I could wait that long. So they are actually gonna send us a brand new fan. So that should be pretty easy to replace and that should take about a week to get here. We've had this fan for not even two Two months i didn't even get a chance probably most of you guys are probably like what is that fan i didn't even get a chance to show you guys it on the channel that's how little of time we've had it and the time that we did have it it's been working amazing like right now it's like 90 degrees today i'm probably sweating 
because all the windows in the van do make it pretty hot and it just retains heat. So this fan ha was amazing for the two months that it worked. But basically what happened is in the middle of the night, the fan just started beeping like crazy and turned off. Maybe I'll put in a clip of what it was actually doing, but it sounded like a carbon monoxide alarm or something, but it startled me awake out of nowhere. I was freaking out and basically we just couldn't get it to turn on after that and apparently it's some kind of voltage issue or something like that um the guy from max air said but he's guaranteeing us that we're not going to have an issue with this new one that they're sending us um so yeah fingers crossed that that gets here pretty quickly it, he said it should take about a week or two and once we do that and get the van repairs done which i'll probably talk about in another video we hopefully should be back on the road uh with, I don't know how much time we're going to have, if we're going to stay in Michigan for the rest of summer, but we'll figure it out. So I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. I'm starting to sweat sitting in here without a fan or anything. Um, as always, you guys can check out the blog post linked in the description that has more photos and all the locations that we went to, like more details on the locations. Um, and yeah, you guys can check that out if you want. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.